Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about single net return path fires. Um, this is a feature that you would need the Allegro high speed option and it allows you to kind of add a, a return path via when you're routing a high speed signal. Um, Cadence introduced a, a differential pair return path fires um, that allows you to effectively do it on a differential pair. This feature allows you to do it on a single net. So if we invoke the add connect command and we're routing a connection, um, Obviously, we can do a right-click add via that would add a via to change layer. There is a return path via's option, so we can go to the settings and actually see the settings for this return path via. Um, so we can pick the return path net if we hit the browse button. Um, we've got quite a useful feature. We can just browse all the nets, type in if you know it. But if it's got a DC net property, we can just pick the DC net. And then if we enable the, the pad stack to choose the pad stack for this, again, we can say, let's pick it from the physical CSET rule. So these are the allowable via's I can use. Um, for that net, so I'll pick the VAR that I want. They're the default settings for the single VAR. Obviously, I can specify the spacing, the angle, whatever I need to do. Once I've done that, when I do a right click, return path VARs, I enable that I want to use the one VAR mode, and then I'm now routing. So when I double click to add the VAR, the VAR gets added, and you can see it's kind of rotating around based on the position that I put. So I put the VAR in, we'll do another double click and add another one. Double click and add another one, and I can I can obviously it will stick to that side of the the via that, that we've set up in the in the settings. Once we finish that, if I want to slide the via, I can obviously slide the default via that I've got, and it will tie its lock in lock in with the the return path via, so we can kind of adjust the position that we need to. And um, if I want to slide this, and if I want to change the position of this, what I can do is disable the return path via, and then I'm then sliding the via on its own. If I then slide it and then enable it again, what happens is effectively that position is now fixed or changed into the position that I left it. 